Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Growing up in Montreal, I ate many French dishes like bouillabaisse, bœuf bourguignon, fish en papillote, French onion soup, quiche lorraine, and so on. One item found often in French cuisine is sauce. We love our sauces. There's one for this and another one for that. Now, here's an amazing one for your steak. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my steak au poivre. This is a sauce made with peppercorns and lots of them. It's a nice change and a delicious way to enjoy your steak. It's an incredible and easy recipe to add to your folder. <laughs> so my friends, let's get cooking. Here are the steaks and we'll let them sit at room temperature for 30 minutes. I chose tenderloin for this video. We'll pat them dry using paper towels. When I say pat dry, we don't press the meat down too hard. We go gently. And I explain more about it on the website, so have a look. Then we'll season generously on all sides with ground sea salt. Now we'll crush some peppercorns coarsely. The one I use is mixed peppercorns. There's red, white, green, and black. Hmm, I like them. You can use a mortar and pestle like I do here, the bottom of a cast iron pan, or a rolling pin. Next, we'll spread the crushed peppercorns evenly on the meat. Whatever is left on the cutting board, we'll use to coat the edges with them. I like to gently press down on the peppercorns so they adhere better. Now, we're ready to cook the steaks. I won't go into details about how because I already posted a full episode on it. So to find out more, click on the top right corner of your screen. The only thing that differs is adding only butter and garlic. We won't add rosemary or thyme as we really want to make the peppercorns the star of the dish. We'll still tilt the cast iron pan and baste the steaks with the butter spooning it on a few times before transferring to a 450 degree preheated oven. We'll cook until desired doneness. We'll remove them from the heat and without waiting any longer while the skillet is very hot, we'll pour in some cognac and ignite it. Wow, here's a nice flame show. <laughs> we'll let it burn out on its own, which should take about 15 seconds. We'll transfer the steaks to a cutting board and let them rest for 10 minutes, covering the meat loosely with foil while we make the sauce. In the same cast iron pan over medium-high heat with the two garlic cloves left in, we'll add the sliced mushrooms and saute them for 2 to 3 minutes or until nicely brown. We'll season them with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Not a lot, just a little. We'll toss the mushrooms again before transferring them to a bowl using a slotted spoon. We'll discard the garlic cloves. They've done their job. We'll now reduce the heat to medium-low and wait for about five minutes so it gives time for the skillet to cool off a bit. A few minutes later, we'll pour in the basic brown sauce. This is a recipe I shared years ago, so to get it, click on the top right corner of your screen. Now, because there are two steaks, I cut the sauce recipe in half, which gives me about one and a quarter cups. That's plenty. To this, we'll add heavy cream and stir well. We'll season with more freshly ground black pepper after all, it's supposed to be a peppercorn sauce, and let it thicken a little, about two minutes. Now, if there are any accumulated juices on the cutting board, we'll add it to the sauce. We're talking flavor here. 
We'll stir well before spooning some over the steaks and top with the sautéed mushrooms. And my friends, this is our steak au poivre. This peppercorn sauce is incredibly delicious. It complements the chosen steak perfectly, although pork chops are also an excellent choice. It's a relatively quick recipe to make and if you are like me and enjoy pepper, you'll certainly love this recipe. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cloughfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!